Okay, so then after that, I walked around the club and I looked for girls and really nothing was really... <sighs> there weren't... This, this is a club that doesn't have the generally doesn't have the type of girls that I like but when there are girls that I like there they they were hot so there were only like two groups of girls that I thought were kind of hot and um I think it's really important it's it's actually funny because like in life the more organized you are I find that the more value you can get out of life so for example like you know, let's say you, you uh, clean your room and you find $20 in your pocket. It's like, it's like, or like you, you clean your room or you're looking for something. And while you're looking for something, you organize everything. And then while you're organizing something, you found that thing that like you didn't know that you lost. And you're like, oh, hey, I was looking for this. Where was it? That's cool. So then I find that like, when you're looking for chicks in a club, it's very similar to like cleaning your room or being organized. Like the more you, the more you search around the club, every area of the club. So not just like the main dance floor, but like maybe the bar area or behind the DJ booth or a certain room or like the smoking area. Like I, I like, I was like searching all the areas, right? before I was leaving, I was like, I was ready to go. I was like, yo, it's late. I want to go home. Like, I'm ready to leave. I'm just going to like, I'm going to like, literally, like, only like maybe a few more minutes. And then I'm out of here. But then I went to like, it was interesting, because like a lot of hot girls were showing up really late. I was like, Oh, shit. So then um, I was like, Okay, I'm gonna try to stay because um, I walked I walked into a room and the scroll held the door for me and I was like sick so I walked through the room through the door and then I was kind of like following this like really hot girl and then I was just chilling and then uh no I went I went straight up to her and I was like I forget what I said I was like I was like hey like you're really cute or did I say you're really cute I forget what I said but I was like uh I was kind of like entertaining myself. I was no, I think the first thing I said was, "Do you smoke?" And she was like, "No." And then I'm like, "Yeah, me neither." <laughs> it was funny cuz like we were in the smoking area. So then uh she was like, "What's your background?" Uh, no, no, I was like, "What's your well, I said, "What's your background?" And then she made me guess and then I kept guessing like like I guessed like four or five times. She gave me a hard time. And then she's like, what's yours? And I was like, why don't you guess? And she, at, for, at one point she guessed I was Chinese. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I think because she was drunk, she said that. Otherwise she wouldn't have said that. Um, yeah. Uh, she guessed like a bunch of weird, weird things. And I was like, no, that's not me. But then finally I was like, okay, I'm Persian. And then she's like, she wanted me to keep guessing her. So I was like, okay. She's like, okay, I'm somewhere in South America. So I only know like Chile and like Argentina and, and Cuba or something. I don't even know if that's in Cuba's in South America. I don't think it is. I think I said like Venezuela or something. Okay, my geography is horrible. So don't don't kill me. Um sorry, my room's a mess. But whatever, I don't care. Um Yeah. So I played the guessing game with her and then like she what did I do? I was like I was like looking for excuses to hold her hand cuz um I held her hand and then she she like gripped my hand tightly and then she was like what's your name? Like where are you from? What's your nationality? Like I could tell she was into me. It was so sick. It was actually really sick. Um, I actually really enjoyed that interaction. Like, I got I got her to like. I'm like, what's your Instagram or, or something? And then she's like, okay. I'm like, I gave her a pen, and I was like, kind of weird. I was like, I'm usually like recently I've been like kind of afraid when I give a girl a pen, because it's like, 
It's like, oh shit, like, I'm not giving her an expensive phone. Like, is she gonna be like, oh fuck, this guy's like totally ghetto? Nope. All of them are like 100% down. They're like, a pen? They grab the pen, they're like, I'll write down, I'll write down my contact information. No problem. So she wrote down her like, oh man, it's so hard to write on skin. Like maybe bring a business card or something that you can like give to them. That sucks. I don't like that because you you want you want to put the ball in your court. So uh, get her to write down her information on your business card or something like that. I don't even like the idea of business card. Like maybe even like I don't know white piece of paper, like a, or a blank business card. Or <sighs> it's something to think about. Or you just get a pen that writes like a like a marker pen or some or like a very thin felt marker. Cause the pen I brought it sucked. Like I don't know, it was really difficult. I tried writing on her arm too. I wrote my Instagram on her arm. It was so difficult. Like I literally wrote like really messy because it was because of the like texture. Fuck, she was hot. She was really hot, man. <laughs> And like you, it's not that you know a girl's hot when she has a lot of followers, but she did have a lot of followers on her Instagram, and I doubt like. No, she had a lot of posts too. I wonder if like she tags like really well or something, because <laughs> if she doesn't, oh my god, she's probably, like you know. Anyways, I liked I liked her a lot. Like, uh, I liked her smile, and then, what happened was uh, like. Uh, her friends were like, we're going to go now. And I'm like, okay. And then I, I grabbed her hand. She grabbed my hand. And she like, kept squeezing it really hard. And I was like, oh, sick. It's on. It's on. So then I squeezed her hand too. And then like, I walked with her. And then we went to like another area of the room. And then they were like, her friends were like, oh, yeah. So this girl was so drunk. Like, she wanted to follow like some random people. And I'm like, yo, those, those are not your friends. <laughs> and then she's like, no, but they're my friend. I'm like, no, your friends are over there. Let's go over there. So we went over there and her friends probably were like kind of happy that <laughs> I guided her to the right place. So then um, we go around into like a corner area and they're like, we're going to leave. We're going to leave you here, whatever they said. Oh, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but I was like, okay. And then uh, I think they wanted her to come with them. And I was like, oh shit. So they just basically, basically want to ditch me. No problem. I was like, I got her number, no problem, it's, it's done. And also like, I mean, ideally you wanna stay on the set for really long, but if it's like, if it's like, I don't know, if it's a very like, if it's a party or something, and and I can reconnect with her later, no problem. Just like, let her, let them go enjoy themselves. Like, I'm not desperate. So, uh, yeah, so, oh, so like, as she's saying goodbye, she like, she kissed me on the cheek, and then I kissed her too, but like I was ready to make out with her, but her friends were like right there, so I couldn't do it. Um, yeah, but it was fun, and I had fun, and um, after that I kind of lingered a bit. I kept holding her hand, and then they, as they were like walking away, I think they were walking away from me. I was like still there. I was like, is this okay? Can I keep doing this? I guess, like, for future reference, like, um, I don't know, like, oh, yeah, so I told, I'm so stupid, I told the girls there that I was, like, I was leaving, I was in the, in, in the process of leaving, don't ever say that when you're, when you just meet a girl, don't ever say you're in the process of leaving, like, I know that, like, Classic pickup says to be like, hey, uh, I only have three minutes of your time because I'm going to leave soon. But can I get your opinion on something like, no, don't say that <laughs> because then they think you're leaving and then they want to they like they want to go do their own thing because they just like the girls that I met, they just got there. So, yeah, um, I ended up like just walking around, see if there's any more like potential potential girls there was but like I didn't approach so next time I guess approach really approach all okay really approach all and that's it that's and then I went home and that was it 
Yeah, peace.